Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet a cat headband. So it's this headband and it will have some little cat ears on top. All you're going to need is some cotton yarn in two colours. So I'm using a charcoal grey and pink for the inside of the ears. A yarn needle, a 3mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a headband. Okay, so before we start, my headband is very thin. Okay, so if your one is um, bigger, you just need to increase at the start. So I'll show you how to do that. So to start, make a slip knot. chain two and for my headband I'm going to put six single crochets in the first chain Okay, so if your headband is wider than mine, try to single crochet 8 or even 10 or 12 into the first chain instead of 6. Okay, so just increase it to 8 or 10. Pull the tail tight. And then we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so we'll start to curl in, just fold it out, okay, so you just need to keep doing that until you have it long enough for your headband. If you're not sure if this is going to be wide enough for your headband, do a couple of rows and then try it on the end. Okay, so you also need to make a knot in the end of your tail so the start doesn't come undone. Okay, so you need a single crochet, one in each stitch until it's long enough for your headband. Okay, so here's my finished one. It's about 87 rows and it's about 37 centimeters and then you just want to thread your headband through okay once you've got it on your headband you just need to cut your yarn and stitch the ends together. Okay, so just thread the tail through the front loops of each of your stitches.
and you should be able to pull it tight and then make a knot and you can thread the little tail through and cut it off Next, we're going to crochet the cat ears. So I've already done one. Okay, take your pink yarn, make a slip knot, chain seven. skip the last chain that you made and make one single crochet in each chain Okay, so you should have six single crochets, chain one and turn, and make one single crochet in each stitch. So that's another six single crochets. Chain one and turn. For this row, we're going to make a decrease. So put your hook in the first stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Put your hook in the second stitch, yarn over and pull it through. So you have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay. Single crochet two. And then for the last two stitches, we're going to decrease again. So put your hook in the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Put your hook in the second stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Chain one and turn. For this row just make one single crochet in each stitch so you should have four single crochets along here chain one and two for the next row we're going to do two decreases so one there in there chain one 
and turn single crochet two one in each stitch chain one and turn and then we're just going to decrease these last two stitches And then to finish, we're just going to chain one and cut the yarn. Okay, so you have a little triangle. You want to do the exact same with the grey. So I'll show you again. Make a slip knot. chain seven skip the last chain that you made and put one single crochet in each of the six chains chain one and turn make one single crochet in each stitch chain one and turn make one decrease single crochet two make one decrease Okay, so you should have four single crochets chain one and turn single crochet one in each stitch chain one and turn make two decreases chain one and turn single crochet one in each stitch and the two stitches chain one and turn and make one last decrease okay chain one and instead of cutting your yarn turn your work add the pink one on top and then we're going to single crochet down the side so you're joining the two pieces together okay so just go through the pink and the gray
Okay, so I have seven single crochets along the side. Make three single crochets in the corner. All in the same stitch. Single crochet along the, along the bottom. Knot these two ends together. Cut the ends a little bit shorter. And hide them in the side. Make another three single crochets in the corner. Okay, make seven single crochets up the side. So the sides are even. Read this pink tail through to the center. Make three single crochets in the top, all in the same stitch. Okay, now you just need to do one last row. So one single crochet in each stitch. And when you get to the corner, you make three single crochets in there. Okay, so three single crochets in the center one of your last set of three. Okay. 
Okay, three single crochets in the next in this one. Once you're at the top, chain one and you want to cut it long enough to thread it down to one of the corners and stitch it onto the headband. Okay, so just thread the tail through the back. And then you should be able to thread it through the two pieces. Then through a couple more threads right to the edge. Okay, so once you have all your pieces, you just need to stitch them on and you can have them as far apart as you like okay so that's how it looks at the end so once i've stitched them on i just took the two threads to the center knotted them and then threaded them back through and cut the yarn okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video